So the numbers are has, are pretty basic. Um, it's not a lot of complicated strokes in the in these. They're pretty much you can almost do all of them pretty much with the brush held at a 45 degree angle. So um, not the first stroke, which I mean not the first number, which is number one, which is going to follow the direction of the axis. So we're going to go ahead and start out. Uh, dropping down, following the direction of the axis, and then we get down here. We're going to go, just end it, just end it, and then and neaten it up. That's it. And then it has this um, tab. It has this tab that comes out from the left side, whereas it just drops it, it has a little arc and then down and then arcs back so it's just a graceful tab out down along the axis back in and down the two we can start out with the 45 and um, and then just follow around a nice a nice gentle graceful arc and then we're just going to come around and follow that stroke, but we're being, we're going to be uh, we're going to be almost horizontal by the time we get to this point, and we're going to come down and we're just going to we're going to do a little round down there. So we're going to start out with 45, come around, horizontal, down, arc it a little, stop right there, load. And now we're going to um, start out with a 45. Then we're going to we're going to spin clockwise and taper it. So we're going to we're just going to pull the brush and taper it horizontal. And again, we don't we want this to be real blunt, not sharp. And then we come back and finish this off. So don't worry about this yet. I mean, don't worry about this when you're doing this stroke. Don't try to figure this out. Just go ahead and make that stroke, and then just come back. And tape it or, and and clean it up. Well, well, clean it up. Okay, and then that loop. What we're going to do is simply stay at that 45 degrees, and the or you know just basically actually in the direction of the stroke. We're going to come down, or round, and then back up. So that that'll just automatically keep it a thin stroke. So now we're just going to keep it in the direction of the stroke, down, s push it back up, and that's it. You're just going in the direction of the stroke. That's all there is. So it makes that perfect thin line. Three is the same, done the same way, with the obvious exception of going into the secondary line rather than going all the way down to the baseline. So we're going to start out with a 45, push down, around, horizontal right here, and then down to meet that point. So I'm horizontal with my brush at that point. Right here is where I'm horizontal with that brush. I'm going to go ahead and do that top loop while we're there. So that's, again, in the direction of the stroke. Bring it down and back up. And for the lower one, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to be we're going to start out in the direction of this stroke, in order to stay inside that nice sharp point. Bring it around horizontal, spinning clockwise to make this point. In this point, come around horizontal, spinning around clockwise to make that point. Four. Pulls a line, pulls a stroke down, width of the brush, direction of the brush, in the axis, full width, drop down, straight on down the axis, stop, clean up, and then now these are thinner strokes, these two 
so these two other two strokes are thinner. So we're going to go at a 40. We're going to go at a 45 degrees angles like this in order to make those keep those strokes thinner. So you just drop down in that corner, pull down, stop. Go ahead and pull this one back, and staying at that 45 degree angle. And just a, just a nice round end here. And then now you come back and clean this up. And the five. It's pretty much a 45 degree angle the entire, the entire number. So starting out this corner, just come down the axis. 45 degree angle and go ahead and do the top bar 45 degree angle it's almost like a it looks almost like a felt pin has done it and then 45 degree angle and we're going to then we're going to come around and do that horizontal stroke so it just drops down 45 come around level off and bring it up and remember these strokes these strokes have to be kicked um, to the front and then we'll clean this up obviously. And because it's an it's on an axis, so these have to be you know in line with this with that stroke in order to keep the 30 degree axis. And then and also this has to line up with this. The six. Same thing, 45 degree angle, push down, all of your stroke, bring it around, and stop. And you're going to pull up from inside of that stroke, so this is a nice smooth transition inside of this. You want this loop to be a nice transition on the inside. So it's still a 45 degree angle brush, pulling it around. I'm not changing the, I'm not spinning the brush. It's just maintaining that because the dr brush has completely contracted into almost like a ballpoint pen. Seven. Has a slight arc to the top bar. 45 degree angle and then we're going to spin it around, go straight down. Remember this is a italic so it's going to kick a little bit towards the front of the seven. So it's going to have a 45 degree angle, slight arc, and then we're just going to go ahead and follow right on through, kick it down, and round it off at the bottom. And then we're going to do another nodule here at the top, just to give this a little bit of weight. And the eight, and the one that, the thing to keep it, the same thing, 45 degree like a felt pin and just we just got to keep in mind that this, this is that this, this does have an axis all the way through the middle that 30 degree axis all the way through the middle so this lower one needs to be kicked to the left but if you sketched it out you probably would have already determined that with your little grease pencil so 45 degree angle we're going to come this way we're just going to make make two uh two ellipses this way and this way, just meet each other. Now we want to go up inside of this. Don't go down below uh, this line. You know, otherwise this is going to get too thick. So don't start it down below. Start it up inside of that last, uh, up inside of this loop. So just go ahead and pull it from the inside of that out and over. Same thing with this. And around to meet that one. And the nine is an upside down six. Or the six is an upside down nine. And it's the same thing, 45 degree. I'm going to start at this 10 o'clock, come around, meet the bottom. Up and around. Mindful that it's italic. Round that off. Bring this around.
around for a nice transition into this stroke. And the zero is wider than o, the O, the capital O, to differentiate from the two. So we're going to make it a little bit wider. And it won't have thicks and thins. It's just going to be basically, you know, a slight thin here, but for the most part. So we'll go ahead and make that thin here. But we'll do a regular O, but we won't make it super thick and thin. We're just going to keep, try to keep it consistent with the rest of the numbers. So slightly thin here, a little bit thick, not too much. Come around. Again, coming off your previous stroke, bring it around, push down, and let up. Okay, the exclamation mark starts out with the brush horizontal. Horizontal, and then as we pull down, we're simply going to let up on the brush so we can get a nice little taper to the to the uh, to the bottom of it. So we're just going to start out horizontal, touch down, and then start just start immediately letting up on your brush until you get to the bottom. That's basically all there is to that. And then um, there's a couple of ways to end this. One is this curly cue. And that is, it just starts out with a real thin stroke. Just two of these curly cues. This one just goes like that. And the other one, it's just a matter of barely touching down when you start. And then it's the width of the brush. I'm not pushing down or, or I'm not changing the pressure of the brush at all. It's simply determined based on the, the um, direction of the brush, that's all. And the exclamation... I mean the question marks the same thing only we start out with a much like the two and the three and we start out with a 45 degree angle and that and that um, spin that this is a this is all one stroke from here all the way around thick thin back to thick again so it starts out at 45 and then we start to spin horizontal and then as we and then we just keep it horizontal, keep it horizontal, keep it horizontal all the way down to here. So 45 degree angle, bring it around, horizontal here, keeping horizontal, keeping horizontal, keeping horizontal, and push down hard here and stop. And then just go ahead and round this off. And we're going to go ahead and make our loop ju loops just like we did with the two and the three. It comes down and then back up again. And then we can make our little pigtails at the bottom. Starts out just with a horizontal brush, horizontal, flat, over, and over over and over or you could just do a, a dot if you just if you wanted to if it's something you're doing that's more elegant you don't want to have this kind of almost cartoony kind of shape you could just do a uh, the same as dot you do on above an I or a J where it's just drop down two ellipses like that and the same width as the as the uh, thick stroke. Okay, and then the dollar sign. The dollar sign is an S, a casual S. And it starts out with a thin stroke. And we just we're just gonna basically uh, we're just gonna basically keep our brush at the at the um, axis direction. So as if we we're gonna make a axis line like that. That's where we're going to keep our brush. So we're just going to start out here, pull a thin, and it's going to automatically make a thick. And then it's going to start to thin a little bit more here. And then it'll thicken here. And then we just pull it over, 
to a tapered. So it's just this one stroke all the way through and just the fact that we're holding the brush always at the uh, access direction it's just going to it's automatically going to make all the thicks and thins that that are that are required and necessary and then we're going to going to do our same loop as we do in all the loops and that's where we're going to come over down stop and then we're going to pull with our brush flipped down and up and then to make the uh, dollar sign top and bottom we're basically just going to take our brush contract it a little and then what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the brush at the at the uh, direction of the axis and then we're going to spin it slightly as we get closer towards the S to make it a little bit tapered so touch down and then as we start heading down start to taper I mean, t start spinning counterclockwise. That will give you your taper. And the same thing with the bottom one. You just want it to be in line with the top one. <laughs> and you're going to have a 45 degree angle with a pretty well contracted brush because it's, it's, uh, this is a very thin point down here. So at a 45 degree angle, drop down inside the lower S and just start to spin counterclockwise to make that. The ampersand is much like a capital E in most of its strokes, with the exception of the bottom stroke where it ends up. So we start out with the thin on the top, a palleted brush, and we're going to start in the direction of the, like, like the axis, axis, so we're going to be in this direction. Then on top, we're going to bring it around, push down hard, and swing it around. There's no, no twisting of the brush at this point. No twisting. That was just, just swinging it around. Just, it was just pressure lifting up. That's all it was. Starting out thin, pushing down with pressure, and then lifting up as you start to, as you start to turn right. Same with the bottom. You start with the brush ver just barely touching just barely touching here pull it over now start pushing down 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 really push down here and then just whip it around like so okay I'm just gonna go ahead and finish that top loop and then focus on that bottom bar so we'll just bring this around direction of the axis and stop right there. Now we're going to pull that we're going to pull that from above just like we've been doing all the rest of them starting from here then and we don't do any pressure change there's no pressure change there because the direction of the brush is determining the stroke the width of the stroke that's all it is the direction of the brush and that's for all of these they're just always always the same pressure Okay, and then to make the final two strokes of this ampersand, remember this is on an axis too, you can see how much of an angle it's on. So it's going to start out full width of the brush, and then we're just going to pull, we're just going to keep it horizontal and, and just meet right into that thin stroke. So we're just going to touch down and just pull straight down into that thin stroke, and it'll automatically make a thin because of the direction we're going with the brush. Then the crossbar starts with a uh, thin taper on this end, and then, and then it gets thicker on this end. So it's going to start out thin, and then as we start to go over, push down to make a thicker end. Then for, well, punctuation, I guess it's pretty, pretty obvious, but uh, for a full round, punctuation you can um, just do two half circles so basically with the corner of your brush around corner of your brush around that's you know period and then for a comma you do the 
do the left around corner of your brush, pull it around, and then when you pull this one around, you come back down and whip it. Whip it into a little point off to the lower left. And for quotations, for quotations you can just take your brush and go in the direction of the quotation, going in the direction with the edge of your brush in that direction. You could just touch down, push down hard to make a nice fat beginning and then just taper it into a nice little whip. Push down, make a teardrop, like that. Same with this direction. Push down, fill the fill that little like a little river, <laughs> not a river, but just push down and it just makes like a, a dot and then teardrop and you just pull that down. <laughs> <laughs>